Hello everyone, my name is Moses, Moses in Korea. So today I want to talk about like how I was able to live in Korea now, it's my third year and it was really hard to get information to know more about Korean life, like Korean university, like uh, how to get a scholarship, how to apply for the school and all those things. So today I decided to make a video for you guys. I don't know where you live, maybe it's US, like England or Germany, those Russia, it's many countries there. So today this video is for you guys. So listen and if you get any help, it's fine. If you want to learn more, you can leave a comment below. I will respond as fast as I can. So keep in touch. So guys, First of all, you have to choose which way you want to come in Korea because there is so many different way to come in Korea. That's why I want to explain to you first and then it's you up to you to choose. Okay, let's do it. First of all, there's what we call Kejol Haki, which is a season semester. Second is Tangi Chabi Yuhak, which is like studying in Korea for a short time. The third one is Kyohan Hakseng, which is an exchange student. And the fourth one is Ohak Yonsu, which is the language study. And the fifth one is Chomunde. It's like college for just two years. And Hakbu, undergraduate or bachelor's degree. And seven is Soksa, which is a master's degree. And eight is Baksa, which is a doctorate. So uh, in shortly, like season semester is you can participate in different like activities or some um, different programs to improve your Korean or to learn more about Korea. And study in Korea for the first time, it's participate in different programs like your school in your country and the school in Korea. When it have it has like connected program, you can come in Korea in that way. And exchange student. You know, exchange student is like coming Korean to study for just one year. And language school is come and attend only language school, like to learn only Korean language first. So it depends on uh, your level or how you want to learn, but there is like six level and it's only two years. You have to finish those six level in two years and Junior school, it's for two years. You choose like the major you want to pursue for only two years. And undergraduate, it's bachelor's degree for four years. And it's really a lot. <laughs> and so, uh, Soksa, which is master's, it's on also two years. You can come to, to make your master's degree in Korea. And doctorate also is two years. So as my friend we don't have or you don't want to come in korea in the same way so for me i am undergrad student this is my second year and i have been living in korea for three years so i learned korean and this is my second year mm, so it's depend on you so that's all see you so there's two ways to come in Korea. The first one is someone who can speak Korean and someone who cannot speak Korean. So I want to explain first someone who cannot speak Korean. So let's do it. Firstly, someone who cannot speak Korean, you have to apply in a Korean language school. And to apply in a Korean language school, there is like some different documents that you want. If I list them, the first one is like your certificate for high school. The second one is um, like to write your introduction and the reason why you want to attend that school and um, how are you able to pursue that like your language. And if you're really determined, yeah, it's, you know, how to write introduction. I guess. And the third one is a bank 
statement. Back statement is like a proof that if you will come in Korea, you will be able to pay the school fees. So you can submit like back statement for your parent or your uncle or someone who have money in your family, but you have to make sure you have like relation makes very near person not you will not go and ask like an unknown person to give him or her things that event yeah so after that i think those three things is the most important and you have to take all those documents and apply for a school you want to attend and after that the school will reply to you if they reply to you that's cool. If they don't reply to you, it means you are not eligible. But you can apply to another school, to another school. I know that you will get eligible. Don't worry. Okay. I just explained like how to apply for someone who cannot speak Korean. But that is for the person who want to go in the like, bachelor's degree or uh, an undergraduate program for a doctorate or masters you don't really need to know korean language to apply you can study in english okay so for people who can speak korean now i'm gonna explain to you first of all what you need it's your student annual report for in the high school the last three years the second is the certificate that you graduated of course the third is the the topic <clears throat> like a printed certificate you don't have to <laughs> submit your certificate and the last one is a bank statement i think for the people who doesn't know what bank, bank statement is is a proof that you can pay your school fees yeah, if you if you come to Korea, you have to make sure that you can like um, pay your school fees and be able to survive and be independent. Yeah, that's what is the, about the statement. You can submit a back statement for your parent, for your uncle, for your aunt, for someone, for your sister. It depends, but it have to be a really near relationship like a family member so that's all so first in short let me explain about the topic topic is a test of proficiency in korean language so it's there is two type like level, topic level one and topic level two so if you like you are good in korean language you will pass an exam and according to the marks you will get like level 1, level 2, level 3 till level 6 and how to apply I think there is like official website for topic uh, exams you can visit the website and there is all information so let's jump on my experience how was I able to come in Korea when I was in Rwanda okay simple story uh, from my experience when I was in Rwanda, first I thought about which major I want to study, and that was something like associated with security. Like there is information security, there is cyber security, and others major. And then I tried to find on the internet all the universities in Korea that has that major. There is a lot. And then I get, I got the emails and then I applied. Like how I applied, it's just an introduction for the people who can speak Korean. You can write in Korean or write in English because we are foreigner, it doesn't matter. You, a simple introduction and then <clears throat> you mention what you want to learn and um, what you like, the reason why you sent the email. And you have to attach some documents, which is, as I said before, your like annual report and back statement and 
like your topic certificate and a graduation certificate for high school and then when they will apply to you uh, when they will reply to you it will be cool because uh, some university like don't usually apply because there is a lot of students and they have to compare max if you're not good in studying uh, it doesn't mean that you will not get a reply for the university but it should not be that quick as someone who has good grade and <clears throat> after sending like the email i get a reply for the university and then they ask me are you serious you really want to come and i say yeah i'm serious <clears throat> so they say we can give you a school and we saw your document so we're gonna start the process to call you in the korea and i was like so happy and after like a week they say to me before like being really officially admitted to the school you have to pass an exam uh, an interview so I passed the interview on Skype maybe everyone knows Skype if you don't know Skype just search in Google and I passed the interview with some teachers they asked me in English and they also asked me in Korean to listen my Korean level and after that they say okay we are going to to make a meeting and we'll give you a reply after and after my interview like two days or three days they answered me yeah you have been admitted so we are going to start the process to invite you in korea and then <clears throat> after checking all my documents they confirmed me and then they sent me like an invitation how do you call it an invitation later maybe something you can you submit in the embassy like the the school information about that that say yeah this student is allowed to come in korea please provide for him a visa and when you got you got that like information or that paper you take all of them with the document that you submitted and you go in the embassy to apply for the visa and if you go you submit <clears throat> in the korean embassy and yeah they check and they tell you yeah come back like tomorrow or this day and after getting a visa when you apply for a visa it's better to make like a plan a plane reservation because you have to put also a printed document about um, <clears throat> the reservation of the plane so i think that's all yeah that was my experience so as you think it's not that hard really it's not that hard but a lot of students say oh, how can i do it how can i do my alone how can i do this how can i find documents that's it's really really easy just be strong have faith and try okay guys how was my explanation i hope it will help you for i know there is a lot of person people students want to come in korea so that's why i prepared this video and uh, beyond the information that i provide in this video i know that you are curious about other stuff and other things so like scholarship or like korean life or like how to survive or how to get like a place to stay those stuff if you are also curious about that there is like a survey down below you can like write the survey or write anything that you you are curious about and uh, also there is a place for an email if you really curious about something really really on your heart when you write your email i will reply to you with my korean friend that we are together so don't worry feel free anything just ask i'm here for you for you guys so that we can have a successful studying abroad like a successful life in korea and enjoy as a student so keep in touch if you like the video please subscribe and like
and share it to your friend. There is a lot of friends who want to come in Korea. So see you next time. Moses. Bye.